Hi, this is Jonas Bell Chambers. I'm going to use my David Attenborough voice because right behind me is a Rufus scrub bird. Now, he's probably about 20 meters away from me. This is one of the most elusive and difficult to observe birds in Australia. This is a, it's also one of the oldest songbirds in the world. Um, so these birds go right back to Gondwana. And if you think about it, this is a bird that was flying between the, he was flying between the legs of dinosaurs. That's the lineage of this bird. They've lived in these forests for millions and millions of years. They're still here now. What an honor. But there's a sad story attached to this because I'm in the harvest area of compartment 18 of Oak State Forest. Forestry on a log right where I'm standing. And at the same time that they want to log here, the Environment Minister, Matt Keane, has recently described the Rufus scrub bird as an asset of intergenerational significance. And they're protecting and throwing money at an area just about 10 kilometres from here, over on the other side of Killer Cranky. But here, they're going to log right where I'm standing. The impact on that species, hard to say. This is a classic territory down here. He's probably been here for generations. He might survive the logging, he might not. But we have to do better for our biodiversity. It's time to stop logging these forests. It's time to end native forestry in New South Wales. WA's just done it. Victoria's making progress. It's time for New South Wales to end native forest logging for good. These forests are so critical for the Rufus scrub bird, but for all of us. We need to stop native forestry.